MAGA is having a meltdown over the latest Fannie Willis ruling. And remember, just two days ago, Judge Scott McAfee dismissed six counts in the Trump RICO indictment in Georgia and was endlessly praised by MAGA. But today, he is a terrible, corrupt loser who needs to be removed from his position. And Judge McAfee made the right choice. He said that Fannie Willis can only stay on the case if she removes the special prosecutor. But of course, anybody who doesn't do exactly what MAGA wants or anybody who actually enforces the law is subject to brutal personal attacks. We've seen it again and again, and this is what we'll see now. I have some great reactions to show you guys today. That she conspired to commit perjury with Nathan Wade and with the other witness. Who are you going to believe? This judge of your lying eyes. We all know there was an actual conflict of interest here. He just doesn't have the guts to say it, and I predicted he wouldn't have the guts to say it. He has to live in Fulton County. Now, he may have said some things that are very critical of her, but still, he should have removed the gay from the case. There is an actual conflict of interest. She made money from this case. If any, I love seeing Republicans cry over this, and Dershowitz is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm sorry to subject you to this, but Marjorie Taylor Greene's reaction may have been the funniest. And keep in mind, she's from Georgia. She says, Judge McAfee worked for Fonnie Willis and donated to her campaign and now ruled that Fonnie can keep prosecuting Trump, but only if she removes her lover, Nathan Wade, off the case. Judge McAfee should have recused himself in the first place because of his obvious bias. Again, just a few days ago, McAfee fairly dropped six of the charges and Republicans loved him for that. Fonnie Willis lied under oath in his courtroom. That's not true. Fonnie and Wade conspired with the White House in January 6th committee. Talk about RICO charges. Also not true. Fonnie Willis overpaid her lover Nathan Wade as he has zero experience with RICO cases, abuse of taxpayer funds. Again, not true. And the Georgia Ethics Board needs to seriously investigate both Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade. I filed multiple complaints. That part may be true. Marjorie gives off major, I need to speak to the manager vibes and I won't stop until my complaint is heard. Trump sycophant Charlie Kirk says even left-wing networks knew Fonnie Willis deserved to be removed from the case. Judge McAfee instead chose to be a coward and protect a woman he's donated to in the past. It's time for Georgia to use SB 332, which GovKemp signed into law just this week and remove the rogue prosecutor in Fulton. Now, the bill that he's referring to allows prosecuting attorneys to be investigated by a board, which on its face doesn't sound bad, but the timing of it and some of the wording in it seems like it could be weaponized to target Democrats. Just listen to this. Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones issued a statement saying, I'm thankful to Governor Kemp for signing this vital piece of legislation into law. Now, the Prosecuting Attorneys Qualifications Commission can begin its important work and rein in rogue district attorneys that refuse to uphold the rule of law in our state. If district attorneys want to continue down this reckless road and put the interests of criminals ahead of law-abiding citizens, they will be held accountable. Jim Banks says, Judge McAfee once worked for Fonnie Willis and donated to her campaign. I am not shocked that he didn't disqualify her, but as an American, I am disappointed. Fonnie Willis is as crooked as they come. It is impossible for Donald Trump to get a fair trial election interference. The only election election interference that happened in Georgia was Trump calling people like Raffensperger and pressuring him to find votes or the fake slate of electors that his team tried to claim were the real slate of electors to subvert the will of the American people. That is the real election interference. Every single other case that was brought in Georgia was shot down due to evidentiary reasons or was removed by the person who brought the case themselves. The team at Morning Joe on MSNBC did a really good breakdown. So before we dive back into the maggoteers, I just want to show you what they have to say about it. He gives Fonnie Willis a choice. She can either choose to remove herself and her entire office from the prosecution of this case, or she can determine that Nathan Wade, the special assistant district attorney who has been helming the leadership of this case, can himself be removed from the case, which would allow her and the remainder of the Fulton County District Attorney's Office to go forward. Mika, that ha that's a victory for wow. Fonnie Willis here. They then go on to pinpoint some of the ways MAGA may exploit this argument. If MAGA even reads the court document itself, Judge McAfee actually was very fair and balanced, and this wasn't as much of a one-sided decision as they think. He was obviously conflicted on what to do and he still made the best decision watch this clip but that having been said despite the fact that she that she has been given an easy choice here 
Notwithstanding mm -hmm. that, there is plenty here for the Trump folks to exploit. And in particular, he finds that there was a failure to be as completely honest with the tribunal as these folks should have been. At the end yeah. of his decision, Mika, he's essentially saying, look, disqualification isn't necessary here where there is a less drastic and sufficiently remedial solution available. And that's when he gives Bonnie Willis the choice. You can either remove yourself in your office or you can say, as one of our colleagues said to me informally today, boy, bye, you're, you're gone, Nathan Wade, and we yes. will continue to prosecute this case. I just want to zoom out for a second, Mika, and also make one other point to you and our viewers. Notwithstanding the fact that Bonnie Willis gets to remain on this case, the Trump team and the co-defendants really succeeded here in one other key respect. You know that the modus operandi of the Trump legal world is delay, delay, delay. This motion was made by Ashley Merchant, who is the lawyer for Mike Roman. He was the director of operations for Election Day for the Trump campaign. She made that motion on January 8th, 2024. We are now on March 15th. It took us more than two months to complete all of the briefing and evidentiary hearings and closing arguments and now the decision on this. Yeah. And in the meantime, nothing else on this case moved forward. Uh, let's talk about Fanny. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> we, uh, all, all of Georgia, mm -hmm. I was like, just we are so embarrassed by this woman we want her out of office we're doing everything we can to get her out now that clip of marjorie was from a few days before the ruling but it's pretty clear where all of maga stands they want to remove fanny willis they don't care what it takes megan kelly says before the scandal was unearthed by defense attorney ashley merchant things were rolling along for fanny w she's now been publicly humiliated and disgraced her ethical and legal problems are only just beginning i'm not at all confident she will try this case versus trump she will be under multiple investigations by then. That is straight cope. The case is going through. She gets to remain on the case thanks to a judge who pulled a cowardly John Roberts. But her problems are only beginning. And getting weight off this case is a superhuman feat by the defense. He's been outed, as has she, as a liar slash schemer. So not entirely what the defense wanted or deserved. But still, Team Trump is in much better shape today than three months ago in Georgia. First of all, this read like her teenage daughter wrote it for her. I don't know why a news anchor at the top level is using acronyms like this in her tweets. Laura Loomer claims we're living in a banana republic, which is ironic. Tommy Lauren, however you say her name, says, Fani is a clown, can't be trusted. The tears are great. I have one final breakdown from Fox News, which I actually thought was surprisingly helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and have a great day. Play the clip. Judge Scott McAfee wanted to speak on his own behalf before this decision came down, and he spoke with WSB TV, and this is what he said. The message I want to convey is no ruling of mine is ever going to be based on politics. I'm going to be following the law the best I understand it. I just focus on the job I'm doing. I'm incredibly grateful for the last year I've been able to do this. I took this job not because I wanted to score partisan political points, didn't go looking for the spotlight. I did it because I love the law and giving people their day in court and being efficient about it. So, Jonathan, you know, there will be speculation that this was a political move on his part. It's the easier road for him to take in many ways to leave Fonnie Willis in this spot. But judging based on what you watched in the courtroom, do you think that's fair? Well, I have to say that I've been praising the judge and I still believe that he has conducted himself in a fair and professional way. Uh, I think that this does take an element of courage for an elected state judge because many people in Fulton County are not going to like the fact that he just disqualified Wade and gave credence to uh, this theory of an improper relationship, an appearance issue that does touch upon Willis and her office. Uh, that's all for the good. The problem is the disjointed aspect of the opinion uh, itself. Uh, it doesn't really hold together that well. The big question was, what is the standard? Is it just an appearance or do you have to show an actual conflict? He indicates that he believes it is indeed the appearance standard. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's the case, I don't see how Willis could escape disqualification. Many people believe that both of these prosecutors lied on the stand, uh, that there were false statements submitted to courts. The key about that is Willis and Wade are prosecuting people in this case for that very conduct. 